What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. Okay, so breakfast, we're gonna get right into it. What do I eat for breakfast on a workout day and also on a non-workout day? What's the difference? What do I do? You get the idea. Remember, this video is intended for entertainment purposes only. What I'm trying to say is go see your doctor. There's no other bits, no fussing, whatever. Go to your doctor because everybody's different. Your situation is different than anyone else. If you want to take this video as, as information to bring to your doctor so that you and your doctor together can make a more informed decision, more power to you. So let's get right into it. On a day where I'm going to work out, this is a typical breakfast and morning for me, right? So what I'll do is kind of like the Andrew Huberman thing, right? I go, I wake up, I go to the bathroom, I poop, whatever. Then what I do is I take one K2, right? K2 MK7 which basically in the research that I've done and how it works for me is that it pulls the calcium away from the soft tissue and it puts it back into my bones. So basically helping just like a little, like a little help to basically take the plaque out of my arteries. If there wasn't any there, prevent it, divert it. You get the idea and also help to prevent arthritis, et cetera. That's why I take this in the morning. What you're supposed to do, or what I'm supposed to do is take this with vitamin D2. So instead of, instead of taking a supplement for D2, I just go, I just walk. I take a 20, 30 minute walk in the sun, right? This is the whole Andrew Huberman morning thing. Huberman, H-U-B-E-R-M-A-N, Andrew Huberman. He's got a ton of new videos out talking about what his morning routine is. So I'll take that pill with usually a liter of water, one full liter. This is the water drop water filter. This is the one that works best for me. It's got the regular filter in there. So liter of water, K2, I go for a walk. 20, 30 minutes, I start out kind of slow and then eventually make it kind of brisk towards the end to kind of get a little bit of that, you know, metabolism going, get the cardio going, you get the idea. Come home, stretch, and then I'll, I'll do, I'll prep my workout shake. Remember, this is a workout day, the day on a day that I'm going to go work out. So when I prep my post workout shake, usually what I do is I do BCAAs and about 50 grams of protein, which is usually around two scoops, depending on the company, the brand, whatever. Right now, because I'm broke out of work, camera operator in the movie biz, right? We just went through a writer's strike and also a screen actors guild strike. I'm having a hard time finding work. So for me, it's bargain basement, whatever I can find on sale, bulk, need to move it fast, get rid of it, whatever. This is what I found. Normally I would do NutriCost for my protein powder or protein shake. By the way, quick note, I am not in any way, shape or form being sponsored by NutriCost. They're not paying me. They're not giving me any freebies. None of that stuff. I have to buy this stuff on my own and it does get pretty pricey, you know, when you, especially when you're not working. So NutriCost, if you're watching this video and you want to hook me up, hey, I would love <laughs> freebies. Okay, so we did we did the morning thing, right? Vitamin K2, water, went for a walk, came back. Prepped the post-workout shake, BCAAs and protein powder. Then what I'll do is I'll go to the gym, I'll work out. Usually, I, you've seen me, heard me talk about that in other videos. Come home, right? I'll do a stretch, take a shower, whatever. Come home take about a 20, 30 minute nap or so. Good honking at you too. Okay. So <laughs> my neighbors, apartment building, people coming in and out like crazy. It's impossible to do these videos. Anyways, when I get home, what I'll do is I'll take a 20, 30 minute nap, kind of process what happened in the first part of the day, right? Just relax, get my, get my mind ready for the second half of the day. When I wake up from that nap, I have breakfast, right? Or whatever you want to call the first meal. Usually by that time, it's like the middle of the day. So let's just call it lunch. But technically speaking, it is the first real solid meal of the day. Typically what lunch would be for me, you've seen me do this in other videos. I'm not going to get into it in this one because this one is focusing on breakfast. But usually that lunch, because I've done my workout and I want to replenish carbs, usually what I'll do is I'll have one cup of complex carbs there's lentils and rice in here. You can fight me or sorry, fight each other in the comment section over white rice, brown rice, basmati, jasmine, regular, whatever. Fight each other in the comment section. I'm done with that 
with that argument and <laughs> you can fight each other. It's just rice. Look at the big picture here. Rice and lentils or rice and black beans. Or sometimes it might be black beans, pinto beans, and lentils and no rice. It's just I'm just trying to get some complex carbs in me to replenish my glycogen stores for the next workout or for the next day or whatever. Okay, so it's one cup of that. And then it's usually two cups of vegetables, right? In this case, it's organic mixed vegetables. You get the idea what's going on there. So two cups of vegetables, or it'll be like a massive salad, like just lettuce, simple. Lettuce, oil and vinegar, Italian dressing, whatever. Sometimes I do blue cheese and I cheat. But two cups of vegetables, right? Then I do animal protein mixed with some kind of eggs or something similar. I love eggs. I always love having them scrambled, sometimes over easy, sometimes over hard. You get the idea. So then the animal protein, I usually try to get somewhere between six to eight ounces. Just kind of depends. Remember, this is the first meal of the day. I want to eat like a king or a queen, right? If you're out there and you're watching this, depending on your how you identify or whatever, biggest meal of the day should be eat like a king or a queen. You get the idea, right? Then as the meals go on later on, I just half that and then half that and then half that. So if this is the biggest meal, half of this size would be the next meal. And then you get the idea. So this is on a workout day. Okay. Non-workout day. Remember, this is what works for me. Different things work for different people. Whatever works for you, more power to you. But this is what works for me. So on a non-workout day, there's no protein shake, right? We take that out of the equation. So this is a non-workout day. I wake up, go peep, go pee, take a poop, whatever. I was going to say peep. <laughs> but anyways, you got to have some fun with these videos. Okay, so non-workout day, what I'll do is I'll wake up. I'll still do the vitamin K2, right? Drink a liter of water. This is water drop, water filter. I'll put a link to all the stuff down below in the description, by the way. So liter of water, vitamin K2, go for a walk. 20, 30 minutes, go around the neighborhood, whatever. Try to get the body moving. You get the idea. When I come back from that walk, I'm going to do a full stretch routine, right? I, I, I kind of do the, uh, what's his name? Oh, the Navy SEAL guy. Now I'm going totally the, 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 the dude, you know, what I'm talking Well, anyways, I do a full stretch, right? So get, by the way, if you're, if you know who I'm talking about, because I can't remember right now, go ahead and comment in the comment section. I think I, it'll come to me. It'll, eventually it'll come to me. So non-workout day, I come back from the walk, do a full stretch routine, like 20, 30 minutes, upper body, lower body, legs, whatever, just get everything stretched. Then what I'll do is I'll make breakfast. I want to eat breakfast like a king, right? If you're out there and you're watching this, depending on how you identify king or queen, whatever. But at the same time, I don't want to do carbs, right? No simple carbs, no complex carbs. And the reason for that is that I noticed in all the research that I did and, and talking to my doctor and what works specifically for me, if... If, if I were to do any kind of carbs as my first real meal of the day, what happens is my blood sugar spikes, insulin spikes, I get tired. It just drags me the whole day. Instead, when I do this, what I'm about to show you right now, my metabolism keeps moving, right? It plateaus and then it goes right up again after, you know, an hour or two after my body's had a chance to kind of pre-digest some of this stuff, but it's mostly protein right? Mostly protein with like a little bit of vegetables. So what I will do is I will do two cups of vegetables, right? That organic or whatever mixed vegetables. Sometimes Costco has the like Normandy mix, which is broccoli, cauliflower, carrots. I can't remember what else is in there on sale. So I'll buy that. Whatever's on sale, <laughs> whatever I can find. I haven't gotten to like those lower brand name frozen vegetables yet, but I trust me, I will. Cause with the strike going on or with the strike ending and me not finding work, I, I might have to, you know, downgrade a little bit. But anyways, it's first real meal of the day, non-workout day, two cups of vegetables, somewhere in the ballpark of six to eight ounces of some kind of animal protein. I had some steak left over that I bought on sale like six months ago. I'm, I'm slowly depleting that frozen, you know, freezer that I have of all the stuff that was in there. Two cups of vegetables, six to eight ounces of animal protein, and also five eggs. Right. Five eggs for me is like scrambled over easy, whatever, whatever. Then what I'll do is I'll have some nonfat plain Greek yogurt. 
it's okay. Like if you're looking around and you're worried about the whole fat thing, trust me, it's, it's, it's going to, it's going to be like one little sliver of your entire, look at the big picture. Okay. <laughs> look at the big picture. If I, if I happen to be at the market and I find plain Greek yogurt that has fat in it, that's totally fine. It's not going to affect me too much or in any way, really, it doesn't affect me in any way, shape or form. It's all the same. But the reason why I like, especially the Greek yogurt is because when you look at the nutritional facts here, right? There's 18 grams of protein for every two thirds of a cup. Total carbs is seven. There are no added sugars. That's very important, right? Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to load up on the protein so that my body's metabolism works harder to process that protein, right? And keeps my metabolism either plateaued or keeps it going up as I eat. You, I am still going to get an insulin spike. Don't get me wrong because of what I'm eating, but hopefully it's just a little bump and then it goes and it keeps going. Keeps like my blood sugar shouldn't spike too much. And that's another reason why I don't want to get any yogurt that has sugar in it, right? Or any added sugar because, because anything with sugar would spike my blood sugar. It would spike the insulin. I'd feel tired. You get the idea. So that's breakfast or however you want to call it, lunch, whatever it is. It's the first meal of the day. Eat like a king or queen. You get the idea. Then what I'll do is I'll have lunch, which we talked about yesterday. We're going to talk about it maybe in a future video. And then I'll have dinner, right? Usually about two to three hours apart. I might have a snack in there somewhere. Usually that snack is mostly protein. It's going to be something like a hard boiled egg, or it might be a piece of like salami that has no nitrates or nitrites in it or any preservatives or that kind of stuff. Trader Joe's has a really good one, by the way, that, that salami that Trader Joe's has that's not refrigerated, but you have to refrigerate after opening. That's a really good one. Go back in my video playlist or I'll try to do a video soon about that. Anyways, after dinner, right? Dinner's usually around five or six o'clock. After dinner, I'll wait three hours, take my apple cider vinegar and garlic pills, one of each, wait another hour, social media goes off, TV goes off. I just kind of chill out for an hour and then I'll go to bed. And then the whole process repeats the next day. So just to quickly recap what happened in this video, if you want to just fast forward to this part next time on, put these back in the mix, on workout days, days that I'm going to work out, I wake up, go to the bathroom, vitamin K2, drink a liter of water, go for a walk, come back, prep my post-workout shake, right? This is workout days, BCAAs, 50 grams of protein, go to the gym, work out. After my workout, drink the protein shake, shower, go home, shower, stretch, go home, whatever, or stretch, shower, go home. Then when I get home, I'll have my first real meal eating like a king, right? Or in your case, it might be a king or a queen, whatever the case may be, or non-binary. You get the idea. I'm just trying to, just trying to incorporate every one of these videos. Just saying I'll eat like a king or a queen, two cups of vegetables, right? One cup of complex carbs, then some protein, right? Animal protein, a six to eight ounces or whatever the case may be. Sometimes I'll have the eggs with it. You get the idea. Then I'll have lunch. Then I'll have dinner. Do the apple cider vinegar. Go home. On non, <laughs> go to sleep. On non-workout days, right? Where I'm not working out. What I'm going to do is vitamin K2 when I wake up after I've gone to the bathroom, liter of water, come back, stretch 20, 30 minutes later. I'll have breakfast mostly protein, right? Two cups of vegetables, six to eight ounces of some kind of animal protein, five eggs, some Greek yogurt, two thirds of a cup, a cup. You kind of get the idea. Sometimes it's only two, three tablespoons. It kind of depends on what I feel like. Why is the avocado oil there? Because I'm, I'm rationing it out. But so usually I try to use avocado oil when I can afford it. If I can't, then I'll just use olive oil or whatever. You get the idea. Anyways, I hope this video out there is helping someone somewhere. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below, comment if you have any comments, and I'll catch you on the next video. I promise I'm going to do one more video that's going to be shorter, sweeter, straight to the point, so stay tuned for that.